Okay, Tommy Makerson has won Rugby League's Honour of the Golden Boot, which says he's the best player of 2018. Uh, there'll be those that say, well, he plays in the Super League. Uh, the NRL's a better league. Why are players like James Tedesco uh, not getting this award? Um, and that is a fair comment. But you've got to look at Tommy Makerson's backstory. Yes, he plays in the Super League. Yes, Super League is the sec- is, is, is second best to the NRL. Of that, I'm in total agreement. But two years ago, he breaks his ankle. Um, in recovering from that, he then does ligament damage as well in his in his leg. He doesn't play, basically, for two whole years. His career's in doubt, um, and he was almost forced to give up the game. He's come back this year. He starred, he's, he's, he's been a star player for St. Helens in the Super League and the Challenge Cup. He's done really well domestic rugby league, uh, and he's now starting to shine on the international stage. Uh, he's, he played brilliantly in the second test against New Zealand, getting a hat-trick, and also showing his defensive capabilities with some really big tackles and some bigger men. Makinson's not a small man, but he's small by rugby league standards. He's one of the smallest players in the squad, um, and his tackle on Kevin Proctor sum, sums him up. In a nutshell, his his tenacity, his ability, his reading of the game. Um, you know, Ryan Hall, who would all, normally play on that wing, is a different kind of player. Uh, he's a bit bigger, more of a strike runner, which is literally knocking the ball up. Makerson's of smaller stature. Uh, he's tenacious. He doesn't mind getting walloped. He doesn't mind also putting in the hits as well. He is on the smaller side. And there are those saying that, that the NRL is a tougher league to play. Yes, it is. The NRL is a better league for skill level. Yes, it is. But Makerson's backstory, I think, has something to do with the fact that he is being named a Golden Boot winner for 2018. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's done really well to get back into playing top level. Um, I can see the NRL on, on the horizon for him. I really can. If he carries on playing the way he's playing, I can definitely see a call from an NRL club going, do you mind signing with us for a year or two? Because he has got twinkle toe feet. Um, he's got that drive, that tenacity. He's a little bit on the small side for NRL standards and our modern winger standards, but doesn't let that hold him back. You've got to see his tackle on Kevin Proctor where he wraps him up man and ball and prevents a certain try. One of several tackles he he pulled off in that game uh, to to basically keep the, the Kiwis out uh, and, and defend the England line. So he's got a very good rugby league brain as well. Um, and yeah, that, those injuries and, those come, and they'll come back from those injuries and the way he's played this year. He fully deserves to, to get this award. Um, next year, be a different kettle of fish. Uh, next season, different kettle of fish. Uh, but, but but this season, for the way he's had to come back from such a serious, serious set of injuries that many players would have had to retire from is part of the feel-good story about this. Um, and obviously, you know, getting a hat-trick in, in a test match as well sort of caps up, caps off uh, the season and adds to that what that award means and I have no doubt that James Tedesco will be one of the contenders next year as well and may get the Golden Boot Award but I think this war, the, the award has gone to the right place this year uh, and for those who say why has he got it over an NRL player it's because of the backstory and the fact he has actually performed this season as well and performed very very well um, and the debate between the NRL and Super League and which one's better or more entertaining rumbles on in the background but there we go. Thank you very much uh, for watching. Please like and subscribe. Place your comments below on this. I'll be very interested to hear from rugby league fans if you know what their thoughts on awarding the award to Tommy Magson are. And thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Place your comments below and I'll have some more videos for you soon.